What's up guys, it's Alex here, your friendly beef dog. And today I'm gonna to show you a way to neaten up your cabinet and give you easy on off control for all of your equipment. Now, if it's your first time here at the channel and you want weekly beefing goodness, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on anything. Now there are links to all of this stuff in the description. Let's get stuck in. DJ switches are essentially a fancy version of a multi-plug socket extension. They're designed to power multiple pieces of lighting effects equipment for DJs, but they have a high load capacity, so they're perfect for reef tanks too. And there are several benefits over standard multi-plug sockets. For a start, here in the UK there aren't many options for more than six plugs. Most of the eight or ten gang plug sockets have compromises, and I've always found it hard to get the perfect multi-plug with individual switches and crucially enough space to fit two of the fat power bricks we often get in reefing next to each other. DJ switches solve those issues. The panels themselves are essentially just a row of illuminated switches with space above, below and to the sides for labels. Around the back is a row of eight kettle fit sockets to plug your skimmer, lights and other equipment into. Because they're kettle fit, you'll either need to change your normal three pin plug for a kettle fit plug or take the easy way out like I did and buy adapters which are about two quid each. It's a good idea to line them up on a bit of MDF to keep them tidy, but you can of course just let them hang loose in your cabinet. Now I had to switch mine over on a running tank so I didn't have time to change all of the plugs, but ideally I would have liked to have done so, so if you do have time, changing the plugs is a piece of cake and will save you a few extra metres of cabling in your cabinet. Although that will probably void your warranty, so make sure you keep the old plug in case you need to switch it back. The transension units I have are about 48cm long, so they're too wide to fit in most cabinets horizontally, but you can easily make a stand for them out of a couple of bits of wood. Just don't leave any gaps between them like I did at first, they don't need the ventilation and it just takes up unnecessary space. Now I can't tell you how much value there is in having labelled switches for all of your equipment in an easily accessible spot. I often need to switch a pump off because a snail's got stuck in it, or turn my skimmer, heaters and so on off while I do a water change, and pulling out plugs is much more of a hassle, particularly if they're tightly squeezed in next to each other or tucked away at the back of your cabinet. I have 20 active plugs on my tank, and I wouldn't mind betting a few of you watching have even more. This is the most effective solution I've found, as well as being the tidiest, and from what I can see, it's a really popular option among reefers in the know. One switch costs £29, and you of course have to factor in the extra cost of the adapters. So they are a little more expensive than conventional multi-plugs, and if you do what I did, they can take up a little bit more space. But I've still found it's the neatest implementation I've found, and having gone through half a dozen or so other multi-plug sockets, this is by far the best solution I've found. So do yourself a favour and get it right first time.